My name is Cameron Chell and I'm the uh, CEO and president of Dragonfly Innovations. There's two primary areas uh, that Dragonfly is working uh, in Ukraine. The first is in humanitarian relief. So we have a what we call a medical response drone that we've designed. And uh, that medical response drone uh, delivers uh, at, a, at a range of up to 20 kilometers, 30 pounds of temperature sensitive uh, medical supplies. So those would be things like uh, insulin or antibiotics or painkillers or vaccines or, you know, things that are like critical in, in nature. And, uh, and then the second area that we're working in is in mine detection. So we've got a number of drones that we've designed and built and, and accompanying sensors and software that help identify different types of mines or anomalies in fields uh, where there might be unexploded ordnance or uh, obviously where mines have been laid. So metal mines, you know, you can find with different types of sensors like a magnetometer. Uh, you know, a ceramic mine, obviously much more difficult because it's it doesn't have a metal component to it. So you could use uh, things like a thermal camera you know, do a scan of the field or the area of interest in the morning, right? And and see what's there and then do it again in the afternoon uh, because ceramic and things like plastic will heat up. So you then capture those signatures and can map those differences. Uh, but we also use things like hyperspectral cameras, uh, multispectral cameras, LIDAR systems. So it's a series of about, you know, five to seven different types of sensors. And all of that data then combines to provide you with uh, with a map or an indication of where these anomalies might exist. So uh, along with the humanitarian uh, drones that are delivering uh, medical supplies, uh, we are also providing uh, drones in there that are using um, thermal or infrared to look through things like debris to find heat signatures, to speed up the time uh, that search and rescue teams can actually find somebody uh, in a debris section or who might be lost or injured or unresponsive. What has stuck with me is the resolve of the Ukrainian people, uh, the fortitude of the people. I have no doubt in my mind that they are fighting for our freedom. They're fighting for their own freedom and, and for their own home country and their own rights and liberties, but they're fighting for all of us uh, as well. And so to see them take this fight on and just be so resolute in what they are going to accomplish, what they are doing, the sacrifice they're making, and quite, quite amazingly just taking it in stride is really what stands out. The second thing that stands out for me is the innovation. Uh, so the the ability for the Ukrainian people to look at the equipment at hand and find innovative ways to use it. Um, it really is absolutely incredible uh, what they've been able to do with the resources that they have. And, and we see things like drones being this massive force multiplier that really helps equalize the, the uh, you know, the situation there that's, that's very difficult and lopsided in terms of just numbers, if we think of it that way. And the third thing that, that has stood out for me is, um, you know, uh, on the last uh, trip over there, it's just how quickly they're rebuilding things, like how quickly they're trying to normalize things. You know, how uh, they're moving burned out equipment out of the way and rebuilding bridges and and, uh, and things where, where as much as possible, they're living life as normal while at the same time, you know, you know, taking on this fight for the rest of us.